Hello everyone, this is the Landed Eagle here, and welcome to uh, a Blender tutorial. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is Blender. Blender is a 3D modeling program, and what that means is, um, like Photoshop, you can make stuff in 2D. In Blender, you model stuff in uh, 3D, and I'm just going to turn down the size of this. There we go, that should be good. Okay, anyways. So today, in this Blender tutorial, this is my first Blender tutorial, and we will start out with something quite simple. We will start out with a coin. So we will be making a coin in Blender, and um, this coin will look uh, some somewhat like this one. So you can see there's a bit of bump mapping, we've got the image texture laid out, and all that. So anyway, let us get started. So first we want to delete this cube and add in, uh, so we do Shift A, you can see in the uh, bottom left corner you can see what I'm typing. So uh, we've got a cylinder here, so we just uh, move the cylinder into place, like so. Just for convenience's sake, we're moving it just to the center of the uh, Blender grid. So, um, just, this is, uh, not, this is optional, but I just like to have all my things centered, so, there we go. And now, we can, um, take this, go into edit mode with tab, and just, uh, hit A to deselect, hit Z to go into wireframe mode, and, um, B for box select, and just, uh, select this top row of vertices and just with G and then hit Z to just move them d down along the Z axis so mm, that should be good thickness for a coin and it looks about right so there we go and um, we can hit uh, A to deselect again and then tab to go back into object mode so we're just gonna move this back up over there and ta-da, there we go, we have our disk of a coin. So there we go. And now we're going to move on to the UV unwrapping, which is the process of adding the textures and all that. So just uh, hit, uh, go back into edit mode, hit A to select, select everything, hit U, and then hit Smart UV Project, and then hit OK. Uh, this little button down here, uh, go and go to UV Image Editor. And um, we can see that we have the the two faces of the cylinder, and then all the side faces. So what we can do, we can um, hit image, open image, and I'll just go to my downloads, and um, we'll uh, just get a um, picture of a penny or whatever coin you want to do. I just have this 1937 wheat penny for, I got off of Google Images, so we can just um, use that. And now, so... Uh, and just like in the 3D editor view, we can hit A, select, and deselect all. And so I'm just going to be going over a quick thing of uh, what to do. So mm, these these two ovals represent the uh, faces, the, the flat faces of the cylinder, and this uh, these uh, this block thing of little rectangles that represents the side faces of the cylinder. So anyway, let us. Um, Box select, just select those vertices right there, zoom in, oh, looks like we missed a couple, just get those, nope, whoops, uh, just get those, there we go, so we have this selected, and what we can do, we can, um, just simply hit S, whoop, whoa, we have a vertice, from this one, so let's uh, control click or shift click. There we go. Shift click to uh, de deselect that one vertice. So anyway, scale this. Okay, okay, good. So hit S to scale, and then Y to scale along the Y axis. Just gonna make this a roughly a circle. Make a G, uh, G Y to move that along the Y axis. G X to move that along the X axis. And what we're going to do, we're just going to shape this into the position of the penny, if that makes any sense. So, scale it down along the x-axis, you know, make it 
if it, just, you know, move it around, scale it down as best you can. Just, uh, like that. So, uh, move over over here, and, okay, that looks good. And now we can do the Y axis, so s scale it along the Y, and, uh, let's see, and that looks good. Okay, and then we can do the same for this set of vertices. We can just uh, select this. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to zoom out a bit here. Let's do that select. And just uh, get these top vertices over here, up here. So just uh, don't mind me just um, selecting my vertices. There we go, and I think I missed a vertice somewhere. There we go. Uh, this. Oh no, we missed a couple down here. There we go. Okay, so this is good. Now, now we have this. So, um, again, we scale on the y-axis to just make a rough circle. Then G Y to move up along the y-axis. Just uh. And then again, we will just shape it to the to the size of the penny. So S X, and then just um, scale it down on the Y axis as well. Just uh, move that into place, like so. Uh, there we go. Scale it along the x-axis, and that looks good. Let's move that over a bit, and that looks good. And then we have these uh, vertices over here. So we can go into Island Select. Select that, select that, select that, select that, select that. Select that. And um, to select multiple things at once, just uh, hold Shift, hold down Shift, and right-click. And then we can go back into this, and then just scale this, scale this down. And put it somewhere where there's a bunch of, uh, there's copper, there's a copper thing. So this, like, like I said before, this is the sides of the penny, so we can just put that there. Bunch of copper, scale that down so we don't have Lincoln's nose in there, and there we go. So we are finished with the UV unwrapping. So we can, uh, go to, back to the 3D view. And then switch over to the Cycles rendering engine. Actually, let's do this in Blender internal. Yes, Cycles is the new rendering engine that comes with Blender 2.6 uh, and onwards, but I think for this tutorial, Blender Render, the original Blender internal render, will suffice just fine. So we want to go into Material, the, the Material tab, hit New, and our diffuse here, of course, since a penny is copper brown, I'm gonna turn that to a copper brown color and then just make it a bit darker. There we go. And turn down the specularity. We don't want a super shiny penny. As you can see from that texture, it's quite an old penny, so we want it to be rusty and all that. And then we can uh, go into the camera view. You can see this, uh, if we he head back into object mode. Uh, select the camera and GZZ to zoom in. G to just move the camera view. Just GZ. And then, you know, we're just moving the camera around here. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we've got the camera moved into position. And uh, we don't need any specularity. And what we need next, if we render this out right now, we can see we've just got our brown cylinder with our sides and all that. That it, It's brown, but it's not a penny. Not by any means. So... The lighting is pretty good so far, but we'll add better lighting later. So we'll just uh, hit F12 to have that rendered view up. And we go into this texture panel, it looks like a checkerboard. We just hit New, and um, uh, under Type, we don't want that to be clouds, we want this to be... Oh. Alright, so there we go. We have a Type Image Movie, and... Um, okay, so we have Type, type, we have type Image and Movie. So we just hit image, open, and then go to downloads, and then just, um, this right here. 
and then what we can do next is um, see here coordinates. We don't want it generated. We want the UV coordinates, and uh, just hit this map. We have our we have our UV map. Okay, um, this is a problem with my recording software. I will fix this by the next tutorial. But and then we can set it to and then if we render it out now, you can see we have this nice beautiful uh penny texture. There we go. And um it's a bit out of uh it's it's upside down, so we'll just R Z to rotate along the Z. And if we render that again, let's just uh, rotate that slightly towards us. Uh, yeah, let's just try to that slightly towards us, like so. Or is that, there we go. Okay, and then you can see, one cent. Ta-da, we have our one cent. Uh, uh, there we go. So one cent, there we go. So we have our penny. But, um, let's just zoom into the penny to, to just to see it in a bit more detail. There we go. We're zooming in, and if we hit F12 again to render, you can see that nice penny. But, uh, we can make it, we can make this a bit more detailed. So, if we go, go here, um, we can play around with the settings. So, we'll just F12. So, we can see it every time we make a change, we can just hit F12. So we can go under here in colors and um, up the contrast maybe a bit. And we'll see what that does. It makes it a bit nicer. But we wanna, it's a bit too dark for my liking, so we'll up the brightness. There we go. Maybe up the saturation too. There we go, looking nice. And then uh, down here, uh, under geometry, hit normal. Check, check that. And uh, you'll see what the normal does in a second. So see, it made it all bumpy. So it basically it takes the texture, takes the bumpy parts of the texture, and maps it into the object and makes it actually look very bumpy. But we don't want nearly that much bumpiness. So we'll just 1.19 maybe. No, that's way too much. Oh, okay, that that is far too much. Okay, let's uh, but zero point. No, that's that's not enough. And again, just playing with the settings a bit here. Just a bit. Okay, just a bit more. Uh, there we go, and that looks nice. So, uh, there you have it. You, you can do a lot of things. You can do a lot. There are endless possibilities with this technique. It's very simple, actually. Simple, Simply um, uh, make a cylinder, map your coin texture onto it, and uh, apply some bump mapping, and there you go have our texture so we'll just have a we'll just um put our final render up put that all the way to 100 percent and uh, render that out and this has there is our finished product and of course you could do a lot more things with this you could make a coin flipping animation you could uh use keyframes and all that to animate your coin flipping it could look really cool you could have coins falling from the sky and making a big pile of coins you could have gold coins you can make a pirate's treasure treasure chest. You can do anything. Like I said, there are endless possibilities. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you guys um, could do a lot with this. I will put the uh, link for to download the um, to download this dot blend file. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Uh, bye bye. The Land Eagle signing out on how to make a coin in Blender tutorial. Bye bye guys.